So check this out. My next business networking event is on Wednesday, the 10th of January. Check this out. Make sure you get your tickets we have limited availability the link is in the description below i'll see you up there all right so it's 5 30 in the morning um i've got a super super long day today um this is literally friday two days before christmas um, i'm going to london i'm going to stop off at bista village because i need to get a few christmas presents and then i'm going to london i've got a meeting with that accountant and i've got a few other things going on throughout the day which i'll share with you but right now i'm heading to barry's boot camp if you haven't been to Barry's classes, I highly recommend them. They are really, really good. Sometimes if you're not feeling 100%, you go to a class like Barry's. It's super energetic. It's actually super fun as well. And you know what? You actually get a really, really good workout in. So, yeah, I booked a class last night for um, 6 in the morning because I wanted to get that out of the way and then get a shower and, and hit the road because I guess most of the days is going to be spending, spent in driving, right? So I'll keep you posted of what's happening. You know what, I just remembered I really need to address two things. So I've been watching my vlogs, right? And I'm a student of the game. Like, if I don't like something, like, I'm my own worst critic. So number one, I've been swearing a lot, right? Because I'm always telling everyone not to swear. And I'm sure I can use alternative words, so I shouldn't be swearing. So that's something I'm going to work on. I make sure that I cut down the swearing. I didn't know it was actually really bad. And the second thing, which I really, it's annoying me, is when I keep saying guys, like, you know, guys, check this out. So guys, look at what I'm doing. Or, so listen to guys, this is what I'm up to guys. I need to find an alternative word. So guys, I need your help. Tell me in the comments below, what other word can I use as an alternative to guys? Maybe I just start off saying what I need to say, but I just don't like it. I just don't like that word. I think everyone uses it, that's why. The reason I don't like it is because everybody uses it. Every, if you hear everybody do, when they do a video, guys, check this out. So guys, check, flip it out. And I'm saying the same thing. So I need to remove the word guys from my vocabulary. I need your help. This is Barry's, look at this. Look. Mm -mm -mm. Barry's. Use water boom for the little warm up, right? So grab the dumbbell, the body misses Ross. Alright, grab the dumbbell, guys. I want you fucking fly in every single one of you, right? Winning mentally, physically. Anything you need, shout me. I'm here for you, right? Wow, this um, mocha protein here, straight after workout, it tastes different. You know what it is, you know when you work out, right? And straight after workout, it's really good to have some protein straight away within one hour because I don't know what the science behind it is, but it just works. That was a really, really tough workout. Right, time to go home, get a shower, sort myself out, and let's hit London. All right, so we're on the way to London now. Gonna stop off at Bista Village. It's about three hours journey. I've actually got a super packed full day. By the time I probably get to London, it's gonna be um, five o'clock. So I've got two accountants, right? One that deals with my property stuff. I've got another one that deals with my business stuff. For me, it's really, really important that when I'm working with professionals like accountants and solicitors, I'm on the same wavelength because if we're not on the same wavelength, it's just not gonna work because when it comes to writing tax off, when it comes to writing, you know, to do with tax stuff and other stuff, like I am super, super creative. And I use that word with extra thought, right? Uh, for me, it's always about pushing the line as much as I can within the legal boundaries, right? So like I was saying, it's super, it's so important that the accountant that I'm working with, we're on the same page because if I'm coming with one idea and he turns around and says, mm, I don't think that, I don't think that can work without even exploring it. Well then me and him or me and her can't work together. So it's, it's very important that the accountant that I work with 
we're both very creative. You know, I've been in business for a while. It's took like a good, probably about six or seven, probably took a good six or seven accounts that I've had to go through to find the good ones. And also, I like to visit my accountants once every, once a month, I would say, once a month, just so, you know, we're on the same page. So if you're like making around, I don't know, like 100K or something, like you probably don't have to really worry about accounts too much. Well, you do, but not really. But when you've got a lot of money coming into from different accounts, it's just really important that you keep everything clear and clean because you can end up getting investigated, you can end up with huge big fines. So for those of you who are thinking, who's my uh, property tax account, it's Joshua. Again, Joshua's super creative and really, really top guy when it comes to working accounts with property stuff, so yeah. Basically, I need to do Christmas shopping at Bista Village and then I'm probably gonna see if I can get a few hoodies because as you know, I like hoodies, yeah? And then, see, have you noticed so far, I've not said guys and I've not said, I've not swore, so I'm being, yeah, go on. So I'm just gonna just stop off here at one of the shops, Marks and Spencers, and get some fruit and get some protein and that sort of thing. Why is it so busy this morning? It's because it's that time, isn't it? You know what it is, guys? I re oh, I've said guys again. You know what it is? I really don't like um, starting my day before. Well, I go to the gym in the morning, but I don't really like like answering calls and getting super focused in meetings and what's going on until around after 10, maybe even close to 11. Like, I'm not an early morning guy. I'm really not an early morning person when it comes to like meetings and stuff like that. And you know why the, re the reason for that is because if you think of everyone, everyone starts work at 10. Oh, sorry, everyone starts work at nine and they finish at five. And for me, it was always about having that freedom to start when I want. Yeah, and some days it might be like I'm, I'm starting at, you know, around nine or 10 if I have to, but usually I like starting around 11. And then just throughout the day, I'll just have chunks of focus work that I do. And sometimes, you know, I don't finish till, maybe sometimes I finish eight, sometimes I finish nine, sometimes I don't finish till 11, 12, and sometimes even two in the morning. So yeah, but let's go Marks and Spencer's and I'll show you exactly what I get. All right, so check this out, yeah. Oranges first all right so just in case i couldn't record in there so anyway this is what i got so that's gonna be about 30 grams protein berries mixed whatever that shot is and orange the motorways are nice and clean there was a little bit of traffic i'll tell you what the weather's not the best to be honest so just to remind everyone, my next event is on Wednesday, the 10th of January in the evening um, from 6.45 till 8.45 p.m. at a five-star location. Make sure you get your tickets. The tickets are gonna be in the link below. Also, um, a little update on my business mastermind is full for January. I think it's one spot left, but I'm, I'm, I'm not quite sure. I'll have to just double check. If you haven't joined, make sure you join my WhatsApp community. And once you join my WhatsApp community, then request to join my business mastermind group. Um, look, if it's full for Jan, then what I'll do is I'll, I'll put you into the February uh, group. They're gonna be really, really good because if you're a business owner, if you're an expert or you're, you're an entrepreneur, I'm basically giving you the secrets of how you can scale six, at six and seven figure business. Not many people do that in UK and the ones that do, they charge a lot of money. You're gonna get so much value from it. The reason I'm, I'm keeping small numbers is because I wanna make sure whatever business you're in, the blueprint that I'm giving you, the context is based around your business and how you can get that blueprint and apply it to your business so it works for your for you. Because if you're, for example, I don't know, let's just say you sell some products online. Let's say you're a t-shirt brand, right? The blueprint is gonna work differently for you than somebody who is a life coach. This is why I've kept the numbers so small that I give you all the attention that you need that when you walk out of that room, you feel so confident that you've got a step-by-step -step guide of what you need to follow. I highly recommend if you're a business owner, doesn't matter what level you're on, you need to come to these business masterminds because it will open so many doors in your brain for you, what you just hadn't thought of before. And also, I'm gonna give you all the latest and up-to-date stuff, what I'm using in my business and how you can use, use that in your business. And that, that's the whole point of doing these masterminds. And the other beautiful thing about these masterminds is that, look, everyone's an entrepreneur, everyone's a business owner, so you get to connect with people and you know you can meet long-term lifelong friends in these sort of places it's good to have a, a get accountability partners here 
and and just stay in touch with each other and then just catch up every few weeks and say look have you used that strategy what's working for you what's not working for you i'm giving you a platform where you can come and connect with people entrepreneurs and also at the same time grow and scale your business i am actually super happy about that that i've started that you know going into 2024 where yeah i'm super pumped about them i think i'm going to really enjoy them and i enjoy teaching and, and, and learning at the same time so i read so much i learn so much i need to release the information somewhere right what a better place to do it you know at a business mastermind so yeah i will definitely definitely see you there I'm not in the best of moods today to be honest not in the best of moods today don't know why but yeah i need to get a couple of christmas presents i'm also gonna share with you so you know guys oh, guys i've said it again i've said it again i've said it again <laughs> Guys, 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 I need to say something else. When I'm traveling to London, there is a shop that I go to to get hoodies and just cool stuff, like t-shirts and that sort of thing. And it's only one in UK. The original owner is based in Australia and, and the shop's called South Street. It's only one, one shop in, in London and it's in uh, Westfield Shopping Centre. So I'll show you that as well. But first stop is Bista Village. I need to get some last minute Christmas presents for people that I care about. So let's go. What else do I need to share with you? What else is going on? I've got a couple of exciting things coming in, Jan. Oh yeah, my book, update on my book. It's just got delayed. You know what it is with books? Like, I've had to change it so many times. I got one copy through, just was not happy with the person that wrote it for me. I said, this sounds nothing like me. Why have you wrote a book that doesn't even sound nothing like me? And when I read it, even, even I couldn't understand what was in there. And I was like, listen, if I'm writing this book and I can't even understand what's in here, how are other people supposed to understand? And I feel like what they've done was they just went to AI and just typed something up and just put it in there. So like I've had to go over the whole book and just do that all over again, like three times. And what happens is that once you do the book a few times, you have to go back and reread it because when you read it, read it on the third or fourth time, you can pick up things that what you should have took out or added in. So hopefully they'll be out in January because I really want to start sharing the secrets with you in that book. It's going to be really good for business owners. I'm super excited about my book. And you know what it is as well? Like when you post things out, when you, when you put things out, you have to feel passionate about them. It's personal. You know, when you put stuff out, it's personal to you. And if it's got your name on it, your reputation is everything right so it is so important to make sure that anything you put out anything you say when i say put out it doesn't just mean like a product it could mean that a word that you've used right it's the way you've said it anything you put out that comes from you remember it's already out so your reputation is key because the last thing you want to do is be known for someone be known as the person who puts out just shit products right two things i need to improve no swearing and stop saying guys what else is going on let me share some other things with you as well guys as you can tell like my brain is like fogged up it's doing so many things like i'm thinking like a hundred thousand things oh yeah i'm gonna um whilst i'm in london i'm gonna go to probably my favorite um caribbean takeaway to get a takeout so i've already had like close to 100 grams of protein so i've left some room for a cheat meal Oh yeah, don't forget my next business networking event is on Wednesday the 10th of January in the evening. Listen, the venue is a five-star location. You can't not come. You just feel 1010. You know, you're surrounded by 1010 people and you know, your network is your net worth and this is a business networking event. So you want to come here, nibbles, I've got some teas and coffees, um, I've got some nice little yeah, nibbles for you. So, you know, come and spend a few hours growing your net worth by networking. Check this out, right? Whenever I come to London, I see all these houses. This one's okay, but let me show you another one. Look at this house here. Look at these two. I'm going to put the window down. So look at these two houses here. They clearly need a refer from outside. Clearly. Right, windows replacing, like, there's so much that needs to go on here. Guys, so check this out, right? I've had, a, I've had, a, I've had an absolute, absolute nightmare, honestly. So I ended up at Bista Village. Only to realise that by the time I park up and go in and find the shops that I need to find, this is going to be like a two and a half, three hour mission, right? Just because I don't know where the shops are and I need, I need to go to a few different outlets and it was so busy. I didn't even realise. Anyway, so then I decided, well, I don't want to miss my accountant's appointment. What I'll do is, I'll just end up going to my accountant first and then from there I'll work out that where I can get do the Christmas shopping from because there's only a few bits that I need. The plan is, I've got to my accountants now. I'll tell you what, the traffic in London, oh, it is crazy. It's literally took me, it's, so I set off at what, um, about half nine, ten in the morning and right now it's, um, it's about 4.15, 4.15, 4.30. So I'm going to meet my accountant now, then I've worked out that from here, if I go straight to 
Westfield Shopping Centre. That's an hour from here. Maybe just because it's traffic time. So I'll go there first, do what I need to do because I know where I'm going there. There's only two shops I need to go to, which is probably going to be about half an hour. And then from there, I actually really want to go to Shots in London, which is, I believe, one of the most expensive. They do one of the most expensive coffees. That's what I've heard. I've never tasted it. So I want to see what the fuss is about. Is it expensive? Does it really taste good? I will see, right? Also, I just want to remind you, if you haven't booked the tickets for my networking event in Manchester, which is Wednesday, the 10th of January, make sure you do so. The link to the tickets are going to be below. So go and check them out. I would love to see you there. I would love to meet you there. Also, my next event after that is going to be February, I believe. It's on Valentine's Day. So yeah, again, the second Wednesday of every single month. And also, just while I'm at this, business masterminds, make sure you join them. <laughs> yeah. I'm here at the shopping centre, oh, just walking in. You know, it feels like I've not done much today, but I promise you, that meeting with the accountant was so intense. I'm not really happy with uh, the tax that I have to pay, so I've asked him to, we need to bring that down. But this is the thing, right? I learn about this stuff every single day, right? I study it and figure out where I can save. And I sometimes, when I'm sitting down with accountants, I tell them like what we should do, like be creative. When it comes to business, my property, my properties. Hey? What interview? Uh, anything. Ask me a question that you buy. If I make, if I answer, it makes sense. Right. What's your name? My name is M. I am. What do you do? Well, what's your name? Not what do you. You can call me this. What's your name? Name. 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 What do you do? What do you do? Um, get in the get in the footage a bit this year. What do you do? I work. I, I, I'm living. That's that's something I do. Yeah. So if someone's watching. Mm. Do, are you in business? Do you have a I'm job? In business, yeah. yeah, yeah. So if so, someone wants to reach out to you to for so some business, for what properties. do you do? Properties. Properties. What do yeah. you do? What do you do in properties? Anything, anything related to property, maintenance, um, lettings, uh, sales, everything. Really? Yeah, anything, bro. You can't do everything. I'm sorry. You can't do everything. It must be it must be a specific so thing that you specialize in. Specifically, I do um, a marketing properties. Um, you market properties. Market properties. Letting. Just sorry, just by the way, guys, I was just randomly walking to the shop. They've come up to me, right? You've come up to yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If yeah. anyone interested, look, my Instagram is realest Naim. No, no, forget your it's hey. Instagram. What I'm, ask, what I'm asking you is that what do you do? You I'm said you, you market your properties. I'm market Not many. Yeah, how much? Roughly? A thousand. Just how over a thousand. Yeah, yeah. Where? Is your videos monetized? I'm in the process of doing them. Yeah, so go on, what did you ask you what you do? You said you market properties, what does that mean? So, uh, so let's just say, for instance, you got property yeah. in where are you? London. Yeah, how old are you, by the way? I'm 25. Okay. So am I just... No, 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 no. I'm just asking. All uh, right, so say, for instance, you got a property and you're trying to get rid of it. Yeah. Or you're trying to flip it. Or trying to get a profit out of it and you want a valuation. So, I, 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 so you're I, a sourcer? I, I, I'm a sourcer. Okay. Yeah. Are you a good deal sourcer? Well, I think, I, I, I think I'm the best. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just improving myself. Have you, have you got a phone? I've got a phone. Okay, so can you break down a property for me? So what, can you, can, yeah, if I find you a property, can you break it down for me? 100%. Yeah. yeah. Go on right move. So I do properties as well. Yeah. yeah. I could tell you do properties. That's why I asked you how old you are, because I wanted to figure out. You asking, yeah, it yeah. Was, it's really interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The reason I asked you how old you was, because I, was just, I just wanted to figure out like how long you've been in the game. Yeah. What, what do you think so far? The yeah, these are basic questions, aren't they? All right. <laughs> so, do you do you source properties in London? Everywhere, bro. But mostly London. Mostly London. Most my properties in London. Where, where in London? Tell me an area. Especially central London. Give me an area. Um, central um, NW. Uh, sorry, mate. Are you sure you market properties, bro? <laughs> sorry. Are you sure you market properties? Where, where in no, London? No, I'm I, I, I do sourcing. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I, I want to know. I want to. I want you to break down a deal for the views. What deal? I'll find you a deal. Sourcing. You break it down. So give me an area that you specialize in. Say, E6. No, no. Give me the name of the area. Is it Croydon? Is it I don't know Stratford? Say, um, Is it? Say Stratford, right? Anywhere, bro. Say, say Stratford. So what's the last property you sourced? Stratford. How much was it? How much was it? Say it's Lettings. Let, letting. Okay, so it wasn't for it wasn't. No, I'm talking about lettings. I'm right. Oh, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay sorry. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I thought it was uh, right. Okay. So I source lettings. Yeah. I source land. Does that make sense? Well, no, I, if you need watches. Right. Hey. If you need watches. So you do watches. Yeah. I 
Okay. 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 So, okay, so you basically get a property of a landlord yes, and let sir. them out to a tenant. That's what you basically do. Yeah, or, or maybe to so you're, a, you're, you're an estate agent? I'm an estate agent. Right, okay, so you're not a deal sourcer then, are you really? Well, I do source deal. I didn't want to, um, I didn't want to, um, what do you call, introduce myself as an estate agent. Yeah, yeah. Because I'm not, I'm not. Are you, guys from, are you guys from around here, yeah? Yeah, we are. Well, bros, listen, it's really nice to meet you, yeah? yeah. I've got to shoot off. Let's keep it up, man. Take, take, it up, man. You can, you can follow my YouTube channel. Yeah, what's your YouTube channel? It's, it's called, called Ibi Aslam Uncensored. Uncensored. Yeah, yeah, I'm do from Manchester. Do you do I do I podcasting do as well. Yeah, yeah. We all do property, man. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, I'm a you know what? Well. Let's connect on, on social media. Because yeah, 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 I, 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 when you say you do all properties, you're estate agents, right? So, we're estate agents and deal sources. Right. He works for an estate agent and he So take take my details because I, I'll, 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 buy, I'll buy I'll buy deals of you if you could do. Contact number direct. IBBY. IBBY. Ibi. Is that Instagram, yeah? Mm. Aslam Uncensored. I mean, sorry, Ibi Aslam Official. That one there. This one, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Brothers, I've, I've really got a shoe off because you know what? I've just spent two hours with an accountant and then I've got like, I've got to go South Street. Text message, email. Um, just, just send me a message on uh, Instagram. We'll pick it up. Yeah? Yeah. I'll, I'll send you some list. No problem. I'll, 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 get, I'll get in touch with you. Nice to meet you, yeah? Really good. Okay, keep it up. Whoa. Flipping hell, what happened there? <laughs> I wasn't disrespectful there, was I? I was literally just coming in because I'm trying to get to where I need to get to. And they just interrupted, said, would you interview me? They started telling me it's a property this and property that and obviously you all see how that went, right? By the way guys, listen, I'm doing, I keep saying guys and I'm, I told myself I'm not going to say guys but I still need to find an alternative word for it so maybe you can help me and tell me in the comments what word I can use. But this is what I was going to say, um, my business masterminds, Jan is full now, I've just had the last in the last hour, someone else has joined, but join my February ones. Um, so if you are somebody who's a business owner, you're an entrepreneur, you want to learn, you either want to create a seven figure business or you want to learn how to grow your established business to seven figures, then you need to get in touch with me. You need to come to these business masterminds because basically the source that I give you is going to be the one that you need to grow. So yeah. Also, my business networking events. My next one is on Wednesday, the 10th of January in the evening. So make sure you don't miss that. Excuse me, can you just help me? Can you tell me where South Street is? No, you don't know? Okay, that's fine. I don't know where South Street is. All right, so check how busy this place is. Absolute manic. So anyway, I don't know what even, I don't even know what I was talking about. I think I was updating you on my accounting situation before and then them guys come in and just put their foot in. Um, yeah, so I was saying that it's so important if you're in business to learn about the areas where you can save money and where you can write off certain taxes. Because a lot of people, there's things that you can claim back, but you just wouldn't know. Yeah, you just wouldn't know if nobody tells you so. So for me, I study this stuff. So when I'm sat down with them, I can challenge them on certain things. Anyway, so that was that. I think I was talking about my business masterminds. Join my WhatsApp community. Yeah, so I've, uh, I'm buying last minute Christmas, Christmas presents and I'm coming to a shop called South Street. I'll show you in a minute when I get there. Check this out guys, yeah? This is a shop that I finally came for. By the way, they've only got one in the whole of UK. South Street. That's the shop. And you and the owners live in Australia. Hey, I'm good, you? Just vlogging, mate. Um, all right, so guess what's happened? I can't find my car. This place is so huge and so big that it took me about 10 minutes to find the, 15 minutes to find the shop, but I totally didn't keep a track of where I came from. 
and now it's it's like finding i don't know like a pin in that word whatever they say i literally can't find where my car is all i remember that when i came in there was john lewis and i'm making my way towards john lewis now i don't know and you know what it's eight o'clock i need to go to that coffee shop and yeah i need to go to that food shop good well good job at least i had my 100 grams of protein before before 12 o'clock i just need to get one meal in so let's see what happens the saga continues the saga continues the saga the saga continues so figuring out where my car is guys this place is huge this is like a country it's not even a, it's not even a, like a shopping center this is like a country like a huge big country you know what for you for those that have got partners this is a great place to come with your partner and you know spend the full day so yeah right let's figure out where this car is how am i gonna do that though so there's john lewis yeah totally lost totally bewildered totally lost got no sense of time well i've got sense of time but yeah i'm losing my marbles i think i found my car oh my god if i have is that my car oh my god thank god i found my car well that wasn't too bad this is not my car i'm just gonna end up punching someone in the face and then just say sorry after that oh yes it is it is, it is. now next stop is shots shots london is called i believe they do the most expensive coffee in london let's go and see now all right guys so check this out right so i'm at the most exclusive coffee shop in london it's actually full and when soon as the coffee comes i'll show it you all right guys so look at uh, look how full it is and it's uh, half nine at night but let me show you this that's the cake that's the coffee all right let me taste this cake here You know what it is sometimes? You know when you pay high end for something, even if it doesn't taste that good, you end up finding the good in it. But on a serious note, mm, this cake is wow. Let's taste this coffee. I don't even know how much it is, by the way, this coffee. Well, I'm not really a coffee person. I don't really drink coffee, but that tastes pretty... I would give that a seven out of 10. I've got a sweet tooth though. This cake is nice, I'm not gonna lie. Guys, I seriously don't know what the price of this coffee is. Well, I'll show you the bill at the end. I don't know, will it be 10 pound, 15 pound? 40 pound, let's see. I actually came for a takeout and end up sitting inside. Well, a lot of people are just sat on their own as well, so. All right, so check this out, right? So the coffee cost me, can you see this? The coffee cost me, uh, let me turn this light on. Okay, so check this out. My next business networking event is on Wednesday, the 10th of January. Check this out. So guys, check how beautiful this place is. It's a five-star hotel in Manchester city center. Two minutes, probably one minute walk from the main Piccadilly train station. And I'm gonna be hosting business networking events here on the second Wednesday of every single month. And I've booked out the whole of 2024. So come here, check this place out. I always say everything you wanna learn is on the other side of what you do not know. You're gonna be meeting people in business. You're gonna be people who's starting off in business. So it's gonna be a great place to network. I'll see you here. So make sure you get your ticket we have limited availability the link is in the description below i'll see you up there